then we had carrots in there that were still crispy at the end of the season. Um, but even if you can't do something like this, I wanted to show you a book that gives you so many different suggestions on how to use um, a root cellar and all different kinds of root cellaring kinds of ideas. This is something I would really recommend this book to anybody who is actually looking at actively building a root cellar. Amanda, I was thinking about you. This book I would highly recommend getting if you don't have it already, um, because especially before you actually get into building a root cellar gives you plans for how to build several different kinds of root cellars and then how to actually store your food in the root cellar and there's even just like you know a hole dug in the ground with hay bales on the top there's so many cool ways that you can store food root cellaring idea without having a, a bigger root cellar like this so this is a book i'm going to put a link for it down in the description box below for you guys to go check out super super recommend this book it's one of my favorite um homesteading books actually is root cellaring natural cold storage of fruits and vegetables keep your produce harvest fresh in your own basement porch garage closet or hideaway so this one's a really good one okay so this is my second recommendation for a book that has to do with preserving food without freezing or canning it's not specifically about root cellaring although there are root cellar suggestions in here it has more to do with learning how to preserve and put up foods in old ways that don't have to do with um, freezing or canning. And again, this is another one of my favorites and one that I would definitely recommend when you're talking about um, storing food. I've learned a lot from both of these books. So super, super rec highly recommend both of these. So um, when I am putting up my food, when I'm actually starting to store stuff in the root cellar, as long as my garden I hope my garden actually survives this year. That's another story for another day. But um, if my garden survives this year and I end up with, a, uh, with some produce out of that, I will be putting it up in this root cellar and I'll take you along with me as I store it in here. And then as it journeys along as the months pass, I'll, I'll bring you in every so often and show you how everything is doing out of this root cellar. All right, so there you go, my friends. I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe learned a thing or two. I would love to hear about your experiences with root cellaring. And if you have any tips or tricks that you would like to share with our community, put them down in the description, or not description box, put them down in the comment section below uh, because I notice a lot of people read the comments and we all can learn from each other. So if you have any tricks, for root cellaring, storing food, or anything else that has to do with food preservation, let us all know in the comment section below so that we can learn from each other. I hope you guys all have an awesome couple of days until I see you again. Bye everyone.